welcome to another installment of Frameline's Green Room interview series. I'm Peter Stein, Senior Programmer of Frameline 38, and we're here with the co-director of uh, Compared to What? The Improbable Journey of Barney Frank, Sheila Canavan, and the two subjects of the film, Barney Frank and Jim Reddy. Welcome to San Francisco. It's great to have you here. You are the stars of a documentary, and Sheila's and her co-director, Michael Chandler, um, followed you around um, for some period of time. Barney, you're used to cameras following you. Jim, you are not, and I'm curious um, how that experience was uh, for each of you. It's a personal documentary and not, not, not just a political one, so. Well, that was the difference. Uh, yeah, I'm used to people filming me when I'm speaking. Um, this obviously was more intrusive in a way, but also, uh, from my standpoint, more comprehensive because the norm of uh, being filmed is controversy. There are very few news people who want to watch you saying, oh, hey, how you doing? Everything good? How's your family? Um, the, 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 the general thing that you are seen doing is arguing with people or you know, being yelled at, etc. So this was... Uh, as I said, it was a trade-off of, of, of somewhat more intrusiveness, uh, but for a more complete picture of yourself. And Jim, how, how was the experience for you? Uh, different than anything else before, but they made us feel really comfortable, you know, like friendly and felt like you could let them into your home. So Sheila, that's a, tr that's a tribute to, uh, to you and to Michael's um, either suasive of powers or sense of um, uh, making things comfortable. How was it that you decided to uh, focus your and, and Michael's cameras for a year, uh, basically a year in the life of, of, of Barney and Jim? Well, I first met Barney when I was 19 and he was 27. And um, we were working for one of the great liberal mayors, Kevin White. I was still in college. In and, Boston? Yes. And, uh, of course, I had a big crush on Barney. And he didn't know that. And I <laughs> didn't understand why my affections were not returned. And, <laughs> and then, actually, a uh, 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 follow-up to that story is the day after Barney and Jim's wedding, Michael and I went over to Barney's apartment in Newton. And as we walked in, I said to Jim, well, Jim, I finally have to give up on my idea of marrying Barney. And Barney was reading the Times, of course, and he looks up and says, I don't know, we're going to Utah in a couple of weeks. <laughs> 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 well, speaking of marriage, we are just about, at this moment, a, a year and a couple of days past the, uh, the anniversary of the um, big Supreme Court decisions that... Um, uh, brought gay marriage or same-sex marriage back to San Francisco and eliminated DOMA. And I'm curious, for your, this is a, subjects that are close to your heart, if you, if you feel that um, uh, there's still progress to be made in this area and what, what you're, uh, you don't necessarily address it directly in the film, but... Sure, there is. I mean, look, the fact is that the hopes of the people in L.A. who brought the case against Proposition 8, unfortunately, were not realized. Um, the Supreme Court did do a very good decision overthrowing DOMA, they basically decided not to decide on, on Prop 8, so they, they, they left that as is. It did not help with any other state. But since then, and I think largely uh, because of the DOMA decision and the reasoning, a number of lower court judges have said okay. And here's what's the interesting fact. Um, the Supreme Court hasn't yet said that, but in a number of states where the court, the federal court has said okay to same-sex marriage, the elected officials have said okay, we'll accept that. And the most interesting sign of that is in the state of Pennsylvania with a fairly conservative Republican governor, when a district court judge said the Pennsylvania law against same-sex marriage is unconstitutional, he decided there was a Democratic attorney general who said, I'm not appealing, and the Republican governor said, neither am I, because he did not want to have to fight an election in which his opposition to same-sex marriage was a factor. So we're on the way, I think, to uh, a pretty total victory within a few years. And Sheila, I'm curious how it's what it's like for you to be back in the in the Bay Area during Pride. You you and Michael used to used to make this your home. What's it like for you to be here oh, at Frameline? I'm at home. I mean, it's wonderful, and to come to the Castro, it's every filmmaker's dream. It's just, and and to this festival, especially, and it's really a gift. Thank you, Peter. One thing I want to add is that uh, you asked about what it was like. You know, and Jim, all the political hoopla came with me. So Jim had been involved, uh, we started dating just about the time of the financial crisis. It's not causal, but uh, <laughs> there was a coincidence. So he found himself, you know, in the middle of all this. 
But what I was really struck by, and you see this in the film, it's really very loving. Jim's family, who were living a normal American life, uh, uh, all of a sudden, you know, uh, all this uh, descended on them. And I'm, I think there's a, just a series of wonderful scenes in the, in the kitchen of Jim's family's house, his 93-year-old grandmother, as she was at the time, and his parents. And, and you know, I was really, frankly, very struck by how, how well they just behaved. And, a tribute to them, how natural everything was. Uh, uh, within a few minutes, people forgot they were being filmed. Do you agree with that, Jim? Or did they, was your parents' experience a little bit different than Barney's picture? I think just like most American families, they didn't talk about it. <laughs> Pretty much until, you know, later they just let it happen and go with the flow kind of a thing, you know. Well, thanks for going with our flow. It's really great to have you here at the festival. We're so looking forward to presenting the film. And congratulations on a, on a great experience. Thank you. Thanks.